Thank you for watching Munchkin's Reading Corner. Please hit that subscribe button so you never miss another reading adventure. Today I'll be reading The Bernstein Bears Sleepover by Jan and Mike Bernstein. This is an I Can Read Reading Level Series 1. If you have this book, go and grab it so you can follow along. Sister and Brother Bear were having a sleepover. Lizzie and Barry Bruin were Sister and Brother's best friends. They were going to spend the night. Lizzie and Barry's parents brought them to the bear's treehouse. I hope Lizzie and Barry sleep well tonight, said Miss Bruin. We'll make sure they don't stay up too late, said Mama Bear. Lizzie and Barry put their things in Sister and Brother's room. Then they all had dinner. After dinner, the cubs played a game of Bearnopoly. Lizzie was winning and soon owned most of the tree houses. The other cubs gave up. Next, they watched a movie. It was about a wizard. The wizard had a magic cape. It gave him magical powers. The cubs decided to put on their own magic show. They got costumes out of the attic. The audience was Mama, Papa, and Honey. The show went well until Barry tripped on his magic cape. He knocked over brother, sister, and Lizzie. They laughed and laughed. The show is over, said Mama. Time for bed. The cubs put on their pajamas, washed up, and brushed their teeth. Mama and Papa read them a bedtime story and tucked them in. Good night, everyone, said Mama, turning out the lights. Mama and Papa went to bed and were soon asleep, but the cubs were not at all sleepy. Brother got out his flashlight. Let's tell spooky stories, he said. Mama woke up. She thought she heard something. She woke Papa and they went to the cubs' room. Sister and Lizzie were hiding under the covers. Brother and Barry seemed to be sleeping. What is going on here? asked Papa. Brother was telling a spooky story, said Sister, and Lizzie got scared and yelled. That's enough spooky story, said Mama. Now everyone go to sleep. Mama and Papa went back to bed. Mama heard something again. She woke Papa and they went downstairs. They found the cubs in the kitchen eating snacks. It is too late for snacks, Mama said. Back to bed. Mama and Papa went back to bed again, but Mama heard a sound in the bathroom. She woke Papa. They found Sister and Lizzie putting on Mama's lipstick. Brother and Barry were covered in Papa's shaving cream. That's enough of that, said Mama. Back to bed. Now the cubs were worn out. They went right to sleep. Mama and Papa sat outside the cubs' room all night. They did not get much sleep. The next morning, the cubs slept late. At 11 o'clock, Mr. and Mrs. Bruin came to pick up Lizzie and Barry. I was so worried about them, said Miss Bruin. I didn't sleep a wink all night. Neither did we, said Papa, his eyes closing. After Lizzie and Barry went home, Mama and Papa sat down on the sofa. They were soon asleep. It was Mama and Papa's turn for a sleepover. Thank you for reading the Bernstein Bear Sleepover with us today on Muska's Reading Corner. Please come back again for another reading adventure. And remember, it's never too early to start reading. See you soon.